to be reformed is to be gospel-centered. And if you're gospel-centered, you're going to live out the gospel. The Reformation was very concerned that Christian godliness is really a matter of soli deo gloria. Just like the reformers also uh, thought, it becomes very missional. If from this reality that God has created in you, you can then shine this light of who Jesus is, you will bring enlightenment to the masses, to those that God has predestined in His love to become His people. And also you will shine the light of judgment upon people who don't want to repent. So we, in the membership course, we reflect this in our final sessions when we think about what God is doing in reimaging His Son upon some people and so that a new world is created. So a Reformed Church is not static, like in the case of the Dutch Reformed Church, which ultimately became inward-looking. It's not a church where it just thinks, we just sing hymns, which after all were actually pop songs and basically the K-pop of their era. If you're a Reformed, you're going to be very clear on the biblical theology of God's plan, which is detailed to some degree in Romans or any other book. But you're also going to see how that means today we're going to go forth to the nations and we're going to continue our best, uh, to try our best, to be so-called relevant without changing the gospel. We're going to be open to people. We're going to open to pop music, metal, maybe even death metal, doing skits, etc., etc. So you don't see reform in our church in purely just some static confessional statements. You see reform in our nature, our nurture, our structure, our attitude, the tone of our ministry, our intensity, our concern for people, in the way we structure GG so that they're mandatory. If you want to be a member of this church, you can't just go on Sunday one year, one year in, one year out, and then not practice it. In fact, Re the Reformation was very concerned that Christian godliness was not just a matter of just confession and doing the sacraments. Christian godliness is really a matter of soli deo gloria, a life of worship, Romans 12, 1 to 2, given to God where on a daily basis we try, although we fail, to give glory to God in holy lives. So a lot of people misunderstand what being reformed is. They think that being reformed is just resting on God's work, where we don't have to be holy at all. But you just read 1 Corinthians 1 to 6 and you realize that that's complete nonsense. To be reformed is to be gospel-centered. And if you're gospel-centered, you're going to live out the gospel. If you live out the gospel, that light should shine. And in the end, that's the power of the Reformation Protestant Church against the Roman Catholic Church. And we all know what I'm saying here. We all know the truth of this. Because in a system where your holiness is simply going through six or seven means of gaining that grace, you know, confess to the priest, do certain things a few times a year, make sure you do certain things before you die. Well, that's a distortion of the gospel.